Good afternoon, everyone. Now it is um, 12 p.m. 6th of July. Today, let's take a look at um, U.S. study analysis, as usual. It is NFP week, so um, just be very mindful of your trades. And, um, yeah, I thought I'll have a look at gold as well, just to see where we are with gold, because I, look at it, I looked at it and I thought, you know, it's um, at a very nice spot where... I'm looking for really good sales here. So if you are just, let's start with gold. Okay, so I'm on a monthly time frame right now. You can see the triple top right there. Um, and obviously we did see price break structure to the downside. If you guys can see this, I'm actually just going to off all of this. Okay, so we have a clean chart. And um, so you can literally see a break of structure right there and then it went right back up okay and obviously if we want to look and be very very um how would i say really scrutinize it we can see it up candle down so this was the high and clearly it did do a small break to the upside on the monthly as well um so really so this was the cell which the downward movement has happened. Right now, there's a break of structure to the upside, right? Um, a small break of structure. Now it will be interesting to see where it breaks on the low. So we have a high, low. So basically, this is the new high right now. Okay, as per all of that, it's like um, a triple top bottom, a triple top, I mean. And then we have a little bit of a down coming up. So this is on a monthly candle, okay? So I'm going to drop it down to the weekly. Let's see where we are with the weekly. So we had a nice uptrend going and... Mm, yep, yeah, so it is a break of structure to the downside on a daily. This is how, how I see it here on a, on a weekly. Sorry, guys. So it's a downtrend. And then let's just drop it to the daily. So we do see nice downward momentum as well. OK, with uh, no really structures to the upside break. And so personally, for me, I do think we are on a nice sell for um for gold. And I said that's so a we were on a down. We did have a little bit of a retracement to the upside. So I do want to see if this can be considered a break to the downside. Right. So if you guys see this for our structure, it was going up here. And we had the low right there. This candle was the low. We had a nice break of structure. And this candle is the high. So obviously, I want to see what happens with the four hour close. Um, and then I'll take it from there. So I do think we can nicely, we can see a nice fall as to where I think the fall would go. I'm just going to go to the down. Yep, there we go. So we do have, oops, we do have. Nice fair value cap. Right here, which I'm just going to name it. Nice fair value gap right there. And we have another nice fair value gap right here as well, I would call it. So to be honest, we could just combine it, but I'm just going to draw it separately so that you guys can actually see it. Just to be more precise, it's to the top of this candle and to the top of the previous candle. So this is another, oops, another, oh no, not on this. Okay. Okay, so this is where I do think price can will come down to. And obviously, we have this whole lot of liquidity zone right there, guys. Okay, to me, this whole thing is a liquidity zone right there. I'm going to turn on the smart money concept and let's see. Do you see that, guys? Like, it is so spot on. Like, you really need to be able to draw this by yourself, okay? So we have a fair value gap right there. And... Um, we have a fair value gap again blocked out here, this zone, and this is an equilibrium. So you can see this green markers here. Okay, these are the fair value gap markers, and then we have got the zones. And obviously, further down we do have zones as well, which I didn't mark up just because we haven't. I'm not really looking so far ahead, but yes, okay. 
just going to take a look at this very little. Okay, so Spam Money Concepts, they actually drew this, the fair value gap actually right to the top of this, this candle, which is actually more accurate. So there we go. This It should be this, the next candle after it and the candle before. So it should have been here, but it came and tapped into this. I drew it up to here, but this would be the more accurate fair value gap. Um, what do you call that? Drawings. Okay, so this is the area of POIs that I'm very interested in gold, and I do think price is going to really tank right there. Right, so I'm going to look to see if we have a fair value gap. I think price could potentially go, hold on, to, to the upside first before. There we go. So possibly I would like to see price tap into this. Since it's doing an upward momentum, slight upward shift, retracement. Okay, so I mean, if it goes here, taps into this area of interest, I would be interested to see if I could go for a sell. Okay, guys, so which is just nice because we see a rejection of the 200 moving average and I'm taking it down. So that's my analysis for gold. All right, so let's see how this actually plays out. It will be interesting to see how gold plays out. Right, so we're going to see a little bit of tethering. So this, hopefully for New York, we get a nice setup here and then these are all the areas. Look at all this push up, guys. So it needs to kind of fill these gaps right here. And if it comes all the way to sweep liquidity at this point of interest, and obviously we've got a whole lot of sideways liquidity right here. Okay, so um, yeah, that's gold. Okay, now I'm going to quick do a quick look of um, US 30. Okay, I'm on a daily in US 30. On a daily, we can actually see, this is a four hour, if I do a daily fair value gap, it would be this. Just a daily. Okay, now let's just look in terms of break of structures, shall we? Okay, so obviously we do see an upside slope, price is breaking structure going to the upside. Okay, it hasn't closed above right now. It is just ranging with this arm um, at this point. So it could possibly come down, tap this, and go right back up. Because to be really honest, I do think price is very, very bullish. So this could just be awake, or it might just continue to the upside because there's a whole lot of liquidities that can be taken off here as well. This liquidity has been swept, to be fair. So I would say... You know, just be very mindful just because I do think it's a very, very, um, do you guys see that? So, like I said, so if we were to follow this, right, price could possibly come here, touch the fair value gap, which is just right smack here, and then go up. So, I do think that we are very bullish on the overall trend. However, on a short term, I do think price has got the potential to drop. Okay, we do see a double drop right there. Okay, it's not breaking structure to the upside, and uh, it's interesting, and I would actually like to see price really tank right down to this area of interest, and um, possibly then just go up. That would give us a good 700 bits. Okay, guys, so that's that really quite simple. Um, yeah, so if you can see, this was the previous low, another low right there. Price broke structure both ways. And uh, we are here right now. Okay, this is the low. It's broken, broken, broken. So I'll just wait for a small retracement. So yeah, I do think we are on a downtrend. Haven't really seen anything that tells me otherwise, to be honest, to be a break of structure on the upside. Even on a 30 minutes, we have just crossed the 200 moving average. This is the high. In fact, we can even consider this the high. But, you know, it could be just a small retracement. After all, we do have... Fair value get right here on a 30 minutes that can be touched. Okay, so possibly price is just coming, tapping into this and going back right down. Uh, 30 minutes. I actually drew, we can actually draw our highs and the lows 
for Asian session and London session. So currently we are on London session. I'm on 30 minutes right now. This is Asian. So at 12 o'clock, I don't know why this thing keeps moving. Anyway, 12 o'clock. <clears throat> I seriously should just lock all of this because at this point, it's like my, my, oh, you see, it's like at this point, all my lines, vertical lines for my sessions just move. And I mean like move, which makes it really annoying sometimes. Okay, just going to lock. Okay, so now we've got locked. I should do that for gold later. But anyway, so you guys would have already seen me marking out. So this is um, this is Asian, right? So if we're gonna mark out Asian highs right now, okay, we can consider this highs right here. Okay, up to this point, just gonna mark it up like that. Okay, I'm just gonna label it so we know Asian high. Oops. Okay, and then we've got Asian lows. Okay, this is the low right there. Okay, which got taken out during London. It came right down and it's going back right up. Okay, however, because I'm very bullish, I do think it's a, it's a retracement up here and we could be seeing a fall again. So Asian lows got taken, so I'm not even interested in this right now. But we can just leave it there for the time being. Okay, and in terms of London highs, really, we just got to wait for this candle. This is the lows as of yet, which I think New York might take it out. Okay, so it's very nice to kind of see liquidity sweeps on in either or and then see the buyers for the session, right? So um, that's that's really where I am at the moment, right? So for Asian, if you can see, we were here. This is the low price came right down, but then price really for London came, how would I say? It swept it. It took the liquidity off here, but having said that, it, it was very bearish. I do think US study is really bearish at the moment. That's the reason why we are not having an upward momentum. But it was not like a nice liquidity sweep, and then we didn't see a break of structure to the upside. Okay, guys. So for me, that's a very bearish move right now. We are touching the POI interest of this one here, right? Didn't I label this? What is this even now? Do you know what it is? Sometimes it's oh yeah. This is fair value you get one of 30 minutes. Like I do need to kind of label it, otherwise I see boxes and that I don't know what they are. Okay, so let me know. So that's fair value gap. So I would like to price really see push up a little bit inside. Okay, I mean we do have our Asian highs right there. Well, I would consider this highs maybe this, but this would be a point of interest, this little wick here. But um don't know if it would actually come there to take that out or not but we might have uh we will have a london high possibly this candles and then you can see new york definitely take one of them out i do think because they are very very slow movements so it's easy to kind of have a how would i say a break a, a liquidity sweep to the upside and then I do think we are going to see nice sales set up for today. Okay, so I am looking for sales in both US study and gold today. So always be very mindful. Drop down to the lower time frames and uh, look for a nice big structure and a nice entry to go in. And um, be very mindful of your trading for this week just because it's an FP week. Okay, so see you guys again in another video. And um, yeah, enjoy your trading later.